Liz Frank Joint Exposure. This video was produced by a book source. I would like to thank the editors Bernard F. Morey and Matthew C. Morey. If you want to hold this book in your hand and learn in the classical style, you can buy it. I have shared the citation and the cover of the book with you. Citation, Morey, B.F., 2018. Master Techniques in Orthopedic Surgery, Relevant Surgical, Exposures, Walters Kluwer. Indications. The five tarsometatarsal joints are exposed via dorsal approaches. One would use these exposures for injuries to the least frank complex or fusions of these joints. If the procedure is being performed for fracture repair, the image intensifier can be used to center the incisions over the appropriate joints. Typically, one can reach three joints with one longitudinal approach. Note, care should be taken in the spacing of these incisions, leaving wide bridges of skin. These longitudinal incisions can be extended distally for dorsal compartment fasciotomies. These approaches are relatively straightforward. The surgeon needs to be aware of the cutaneous nerves and the NV bundle overlying the medial and intermediate cuneiform joint, and then in the first web space. Technique Skin incision over second tarsometatarsal. Joint The EHL is identified and retracted by scissors. Forceps are on the extensor digitorum brevis, EDB. The extensor digitorum brevis and neurovascular bundle are retracted to the right, extensor hallucis, longus to left. The capsule is exposed and entered. Forceps to bottom in space between first and second metatarsal. Top forceps in medial intermediate cuneiform joint. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.